Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing out there? Thank you for joining me on my little morning talks here in my backyard. I do appreciate everybody that's uh, that watching the videos, commenting, you know, giving me feedback. I, I still appreciate every every bit of it. Thank you very much. Uh, yesterday, I was on a call with a couple of my boys. You know, they do some, we do group chats every once in a while, and we were talking about something, and uh, it, it kind of struck a nerve in me, and I wanted to, to bring it up this morning. You know, all my talks in the morning come from something that has hit me recently that I feel like you know, uh, I want to share. So the two things I want to talk about this morning is faith and commitment. Now, when I say faith, I'm not talking about a faith in God or the Lord, you know, that's definitely a faith that we can have a whole conversation on. Uh, but that's not the faith that I am talking about. The definition of faith is uh, a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Uh, uh, another uh, another definition is a firm belief in something that for which there is no proof. Um, and something that resonates in both those definitions is trust. So when I talk about faith, I'm talking about trust, trust in something. Um, you know, like you have uh faith in you know your spouse or faith or trust in your job or trust and faith in your home or uh faith in the fact that if you work out every single day it's going to make you a better person or you're going to feel better uh the trust that um or faith you have in your car that when you get in your car you turn the key on it's gonna it's gonna start up and go you know that's the faith and trust that i wanted to talk about this morning and without the second half of what I just spoke, the commitment portion of it, all of that faith and trust, I believe, is all for nothing. You know, you can have all the faith and trust in the world that your job is going to be there for you and, you know, all that kind of great stuff. But if you don't commit to what you're doing, you don't commit to that job it's not going to work out, you know, um, you can have all the faith and trust in that your car is going to work this morning when you turn the key on, but if you didn't commit to doing the service to your vehicle or doing the oil changes or checking the tires and doing all that, the, the car is not going to work. You know, you can have all the faith and trust in your relationship, you know, with your spouse or significant other. But if you don't put that hard work in, if you don't put that work in to communicate better or do the little things that sometimes get forgotten in long-term relationships, that relationship's not going to work out. No matter how much faith or trust do you have in that other in that other aspect of your life without that commitment to it, it it's it's not gonna work um you know every more you know if you don't know by now uh, uh you know i'm in sales and if i don't continually learn if i don't continually evolve if i don't continually try to learn something new i'm never gonna last in my business um you know right now you know i switched over to a new company and right now I'm learning the product. I'm learning, you know, and knowing one car is not like learning all the other cars. Like th this is, you know, I'm learning that the hard way now. And it is driving me crazy. I work every day. I go in there. I sit behind a computer for six, seven, eight hours. I don't get to talk to people, which I love to do, um, you know, but I'm learning the product. Um, um, I am starting at my base so I can trust and have faith in the product. So when I present it to somebody, um, I can have them believe in me and they commit to me and I can commit to them what having that knowledge base. Um, all faith and belief, all faith and trust does not come without a large commitment. And that commitment has to be, you know, followed up every single day you know what i'm saying and five ways that i i think i came up with five ways of uh of making sure you stay committed um uh you know you have to keep going so the first one is check your commitment 
you know every day when you get up in the morning whatever you're committed to check it you know find out are you doing everything you need to do to stay committed to stay with that trust you know um, reapply whatever energy you need to put into that commitment every single day you know it, it, it is not natural uh, not for me it's not natural every morning for me to get up and do studying and you know do this and do that you know what i'm saying like sometimes i just want to sit on the couch and do nothing and just relax you know what i mean and, and you know and, and i say oh I, it's relaxing but you know i have to reapply myself every single morning that's number two number three is keep learning and keep studying you know you want to keep up on anything that you're doing like if it's a relationship you know read a relationship book you know because you know if your relationship's great make it better than great you know if it's good make it great if it's great make it awesome if it's awesome make it fantastic you know what i'm saying when you make it fantastic make it last forever you, know, you have to do those things to continually do that um, number four is keep around others that have the same commitment and same goals. You know what I mean? If you're a fitness person and you're in the gym and stuff like that, then hang around other people that are going to the gym and then doing those fitness things. They're going to keep motivating you to do better. You know, if you are a salesperson and you, you like, you know, you enjoy the selling thing, well, stay around other salespeople because they're going to be pushing you to learn something new to you know to do something new that you might not have thought before you know you want to stay in the same circle that you're working with um, and the last one is remind yourself of accomplishments that you had in the past you know and accomplishments that you currently are having you know so many times we go through life and, and we accomplish things and we just throw it by the wayside and we don't spend that moment to reflect and say, you know, I worked hard for this, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, for that, I'm grateful, you know? But you got to keep reminding yourself about stuff like that that you accomplished in the past. So, you know, again, this morning, I hope my little talk about uh, faith and commitment and my little topic really helped you this morning. Hopefully it motivates you to do something great today. Um, you know, if you have any questions or comments about the discussion or you want to chat some more about it, man, hit me up. You know, uh, I'm not hard to find. I'm on the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that kinds of great stuff like that. Um, you know, just hit me up. Let's have a, let's have a talk, you know, let, let, let's do it. Let's chop it up. All right. All right. Stay blessed and have a great day, guys. Go out there and kill it.